Hi, I'm Atomicus from OverwatchKings.com and today I'll talk about Far on Hanamura. Anything from team compositions to different engagement angles and whatnot. As of yet, Far works against certain compositions, primarily ones that don't have that many hitscan heroes such as McCree, Widowmaker and Soldier 76. Before we continue, make sure you check out the main guide for Farah since I'll skip the basic stuff about her in this video. Hanamura can be an interesting map for Farah since there are several ways of approaching each point, both on defense and attack. The first point offers a lot of open space while the second point is trickier to handle because of the choke points that lead towards the point. However, these choke points will greatly benefit Farah on defense. Just like the other maps, you'll encounter different compositions so I'll talk about some of the most standard comps that you can expect on this map. Starting off on attack, the best comp that would benefit Farah on the first point is a dive comp with Genji, Winston, Zarya, Lucio and Anna. This comp will greatly help you especially when the enemy team has some hit scan heroes holding on the high ground. The priority targets with this comp is any hit scan heroes that could contest you. Once you take care of them, you can easily use the high ground to your advantage to capture the point as Farah. The other comp that can work is the standard Reinhardt, Zarya, Lucio, Anna and Genji. This way, the Genji can dive together with you on any key targets, but a Widowmaker or Hanzo can also work if they focus on picking off the enemy hitscan heroes before you push in. Once again, I'll explain what you should be doing with Farah regardless of what comp you might get in the end. So, starting off, you want to scout what the enemy team has. You can do this by flying to this area above the main choke point. You pretty much just have to scout if they have any hitscan heroes on the left high ground. Usually a Soldier 76 will be holding there and you won't be able to get far without taking care of him first. The best way to try to take him out is by going through the window on the left side and using your concussive blast to either get close to him or push him off the high ground. Sometimes you may find him sitting on the top of the dojo if they have a Mei that can boost him up there. In this case, you can just go through the dojo and play around the medkit, eventually having to contest him on top of the dojo. Once you have taken care of the left high ground, you can use this to deal damage to the enemy team from up here. There are several spots that you can use for traveling around the point and still having the high ground advantage. The main area is this balcony that allows you to cover the point but also navigating to the other side of the point, letting you flank any reinforcements from the enemy team. This should be your main playground since you have several medkits that you can fly to in case you need to heal yourself. You can also use your concussive blast to push some enemies off the map, mostly the ones that will be near the edge, but hey, better than nothing. In the end, your job for the first point is to contest the left side and take the high ground for yourself if they have any hitscan heroes holding there. If they don't have any hitscan heroes that can deal with you, then you can also use this path to flank the enemy team from the right side. That's pretty much it for the first point on Hanamura. Let's move on to the second point now. The last point for this map is harder than an attack because of all the choke points that can be easily covered by the enemy team as you push in. You will encounter a Mei most of the time on this point. There isn't really a best way of approaching the last point as Farah, but I will talk about the routes that you can use to potentially get some picks that will help you secure the point in the end. First, we have the left side, which is easily accessible by flying to it and you shouldn't find too much trouble getting to it. From here, you can spam some rockets towards the opposite high ground where the enemy team should be holding most of the time. Your main concern going this way should be if they have any players holding this area above the main entrance. It's pretty awkward to aim from here since you have these steps that give a small ground advantage to players holding here. Your best bet in this situation is to act as a distraction while your team is pushing from the opposite side. You can also use the mega health pack in this area to survive longer. Going through the main windows can work sometimes, but most of the time you will be left exposed and you won't have much space to work with while fighting there. These windows should be best used if you want to scout who's holding on the high ground or if the enemy team is not carving them anymore. The right path is good for when you want to push together with your team since you can easily spam the corridor that leads to the high ground. This is the common route that most attacking teams go for, but if they have a Mei, this will usually end up being suicidal if you don't manage to bait the wall properly. Going through the main entrance will easily get you above the point, but you'll be heavily exposed with no cover to use, and considering that the defending team will already be sitting on the high ground, you won't last much here, so stay away from this unless there's a team fight already happening on the point and you just arrived from your spawn. Lastly, there is one more path that you can take, the one that leads towards the point, through the bottom far right rooms. You can use this to easily sneak on the point if you want to distract the enemy players as your team is pushing in. But the best way to use this is to surprise the enemy team that is holding on the high ground, either by just using your jump jet or by directly using the stairs to flank from behind. Overall, what you need to do as far on the last point of Hanamura is to scout where the enemy team is holding, what comp they have and act accordingly. 
Your priority will still be the hitscan heroes during teamfights if they have any, so pick any of these paths that will allow you to get closer to your key targets based on where they are. In terms of using your barrage on the attacking side for this map, obviously you'll want to combo with either Reinhardt, Zarya or Mei, but doing it on your own can work as well. For the first point, using it around the point can be easily achieved due to the balcony area that allows you to flank as your team is contesting the point. For the last point, the best paths for surprising the enemy team with a barrage on your own are the main entrance, followed by a jump jet and the bottom right path that can be used either with a jump jet to immediately reach the high ground or by taking the stairs and using your barrage on the enemy team from behind. Time to move on the defending side for this map. As you probably guessed, now you'll just have to hold the high ground areas that you are trying to contest on the attacker's side. A couple of things change here, mostly what you should be expecting from the enemy team. The Widowmaker can easily pick you off here if you're not expecting it, so keep that in mind as you're peeking. Best thing to do here is to wait until you can check what comp the enemy team has, then start poking if the risks are not that high. Best spots to hold here are on the platform and the dojo since these give you some decent cover while also being able to spam the main choke points. Anna can easily heal you as long as you're in the open, so keep that in mind as you're navigating between the platform and the spots above the gate. Peeking is best done from here or the larger gap to the right. Just be careful not to get picked off when you do this. Always remember to check the enemy team's comp often so you can notice if they have a Widowmaker as soon as possible. If the enemy team pushes through the left building, you usually don't want to follow them. Just keep spamming the choke points as they walk out through the doorways on the other side. The best thing to do when the enemy manages to push through is to fly towards the gate and pick off any players from behind. Usually the Anna will be sitting at the gate in order to heal her team without being in danger, so this should be an easy pick if she's alone. If you need to fight on the point, then use the same spots that you would use on attack if possible. Otherwise, just approach the point the usual way from your spawn. Moving on to the last point, there are several spots that you can use for defending without exposing yourself too much. Initially, you want to hold on the main area above the entrance. From here, you can deal damage to the enemy team as they're coming from their spawn and even harass them a little bit as they're getting in position to push in towards the point. If they don't have a Reinhardt, they will struggle pushing through the choke points so it's going to be very easy for you to pick them off from up here. If they have any heroes that can enter through these two windows, then you should be ready to deal with them as soon as possible. Widowmaker can be expected from the attacker side, so if they have one, you will need to be extra careful about peeking through the windows. It's best to just stay behind cover and let the enemy push in first, then try to take out the Widowmaker when she's alone. Basically, in this scenario, you will have to be careful about where the Widowmaker and any heroes that can climb or travel over the gap on the right side will attack from, so you don't get caught by surprise. So this high ground is usually the ideal area for you to be in, but sometimes you might be forced to hold passively in the back. There are two spots that help you accomplish that. There's the usual spot on the left side where your team should be holding most of the time. From here you can spam the left corridor if the team is trying to push through there, and you can easily fly off and flank the enemy team if they're trying to go upstairs. This area is good if the enemy team doesn't have any snipers that can peek from the far right side. The other spot is this small balcony-like area that gives you some nice cover from both the left and the right side. You can cover the far left side and you can surprise any snipers that will peek from the right side. So yeah, basically just use any of these spots accordingly to what comp the enemy team has and focus on key targets such as any hitscan heroes that can contest you or any support heroes. When you need to stall the capture of the point and you just respawn, you should ideally try to go for the back line that's mostly likely holding on the high ground. Otherwise, your team will heavily struggle stopping the enemy team from capturing the point in the end. Using your barrage on defense is quite easy. On the first point, you can fly over the gate and use your ulti from behind as the enemy team pushes in. You can also use it either on the point or near any doorways that the enemy team might be pushing through. For the last point, ideally you want to use it on any of the choke points available as they push in. Remember to also combo with the heroes that have synergy with you if any are available in your team composition. Overall, Hanamura can work out for Farah, but it requires good positioning and being able to read out the enemy team well enough to take advantage of where they are holding. Usually you'll only find yourself up against Soldier 76, but if they have double hit skin heroes and you feel heavily contested, then you should swap to a different hero. Alright, there we go. Another guide for Farah, this time on Hanamura. Hopefully you have learned some new things and on that note, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.